What's cracking people? Angelic Mayhem here, and welcome to the next video of my PC Minecraft series. And in this video, come back here to Brown Town to talk about a hotel. Uh, we have our museum up, and we now have a police precinct over here, which helps to uh, ward off crime in the area. And so now we can focus on tourism. So ideally, the idea here is that we want the museum to have uh, plenty of traffic and to raise a lot of money, which then becomes taxes to go back into the town. And so what we've done is to actually build across the street the Blue Fin, which is a hotel. Hotels are incredibly easy to build. Um, basically, they are just one floor that is replicated on top of itself over and over and over again. Um, and I'm going to show you how that's done. But to begin, I'm just going to give you a tour of this building. Uh, the lot size on this is 37 by 24. I'm sorry, 39 by 24. Um, however, because of this, uh, this 45 degree boulevard here, um, it is in fact oddly shaped. This building is sort of uh, based on a building that I saw in North South Wales um, which has a very similar sort of design to it that building was an apartment complex uh, this is actually you know specifically built as a hotel uh, so we're gonna go in here which is gonna be our front door we get a little sign um, up in here there is glowstone hidden back in here at nighttime that really kind of lights up uh, we'll get into that in a little bit there we go front door over here we have our front desk. Stop by, say hello. You gotta check in. Um, for the people who actually work here, they can actually step back here on the side, and this is sort of like a little miniature manager's office. And then across the way, there is this employees only area. Now, um, first, first of all, over here, we have what would be an actual manager station, okay, for the hotel. And, you know, there would be like various paperwork and things like that done here. But for the rest of this area, this is all going to be basically a, a little mini kitchenette. The idea here is that out front, we have, in addition to the hotel, just a little, a little cafe, you know, um, not anything amazing, you wouldn't be able to order like Eggs Benedict or anything, you know, like filet mignon or anything like that, but like little finger sandwiches, a little continental breakfast, you know, that sort of thing. So that would be set up here in our little uh, glass atrium, and then back here is where they would make all the food. Uh, so we have a little refrigerator, a couple cabinets here um, with the countertop for prep work and stuff. Um, we got two, two ovens. And, uh, you know, it's just some storage in a sink. So there we go. Now, on this floor, um, I also have two rooms down here. I'm going to get to those in just a second, but I do want to head back in this direction just to show you the elevator. Um, this is not like a traditional elevator like you would find in real life. Uh, this is a Minecraft elevator, uh, which uses, let me right click on this, these little carts. Okay. So in order to actually go up and down, you have to click on the cart that is above and it will take you to the next floor. But then to get out of it, if I were actually to um, hit in what is my case, the R key to get out of this, I would actually sink back through the floor and fall back down. So what I've done here is I've actually set up a second cart, which is on top of an actual block so that when I scooch over to here and right click, now I don't fall down. Okay. So now I can get out and wander about. Uh, so here is in fact the third floor and if I go back in here I can go up to fourth floor fifth floor and that is the roof Now so the elevator is nice and that can bring us up and elevator would be the appropriate term because you were elevating through the building But what happens when you want to go back down? You can't use the same thing because if I click on this I can't click on the one below it to go back down So I have a subordinator which is obviously something to go down with and bloop 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 ta da little bit of water which is held directly above a sign uh, the sign can say whatever you want or it doesn't have to say anything at all but I just decided to kind of you know make it a dual purpose sort of situation and as long as this sign is here and the water is completely enclosed then the water will not go anywhere so we are good there uh, but so anyway now I want to show off some rooms I did not do every room in the establishment because total there are 18 rooms and I didn't want to, you know, go through all that. I just wanted to, you know, kind of do a, a quick tutorial on how to do a hotel room. Um, I've got glowstone hidden under the floor here. That becomes trickier as you go up to different levels. You're going to find situations like this where you can kind of hide it in the corner. And then downstairs, you could throw in like a quick soffit, um, to, you know, just to kind of hide it. Uh, so, and that, that actually worked pretty good. Um, I... 
the tricky part is that the floors upstairs are all using this um, these plan uh, plank slabs, and sadly you can't hook this directly to the plank slab. Um, otherwise, the soffit would be you know just like one deep. So I had to kind of go down like that, which I don't think doesn't really work perfectly, but uh, it, it it does good for our purposes. Um, each room gets us uh, like a little mini love seat. Um, we got obviously a double bed and uh, you know just some spaces to put your stuff there are other rooms that have closets um, I'll kind of get into that in a second and this is a bathroom right Got a little shower in here and of course the toilet underneath of which is glowstone and this is the one uh, for the bathroom above um, I'm using banners here as towel racks and I'm also using banners here um, to, you know just kind of as uh, privacy curtains and we'll talk about that when I get outside over here, here's another kind of room. I have four different uh, types of rooms. Uh, I'm only gonna show you two of them fully decorated and then the other two I'll discuss when I talk about how to actually build this entire building, um, which you can do in about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, again, double beds in here and more of the same. It's all basically the same furnishing and uh, this over here is kind of my envisioning of what a, um, what a closet would be, like this is kind of like a walk-in closet. And then over here, shower and uh, bathroom. So there we go. Now, down here at the end, if you're not interested in taking the elevator, there is a stairwell. Uh, you can actually go down in the stairwell. Pressure plate opens the door. That way, if you go outside, you can't get back in. Uh, security feature for the building. And then, uh, obviously, you can go up to each of the floors. I am going to go to the top floor. And again, all of these rooms are identical. So like you'll notice this one looks exactly like the one two floors down. Uh, sans decorations Ooh, and we'll go up here um, I have uh, all the torches kind of hidden in recesses and I'll show you when we actually get outside which will happen right now there should actually be a door here I could actually do that I could actually um, you know kind of recess this one more and then just put a door here uh, but for the most part, you know, you get the idea that this is just a nice little roof area, some place where people can come to, uh, like in the summer and spring months, you know, they could come up here and that you could have like a, you know, a wedding reception or whatever you wanted to, you know, it'd be a, a nice little party area. And then over here, I just have like two real quick air conditioners. And then this is the glass enclosure at the top of my atrium, which is just kind of like... Um, from below, when you look up, it really kind of is pretty amazing the way that it looks. Like you can literally walk around looking up and it kind of changes depending upon your perspective. Up here, it just kind of looks like a pile of glass. So it's not really meant to be seen from up top. Um, also, I want to show you, so over here, this is the stairwell that we were in. And I told you that I had recessed the torches. They're actually buried inside of uh, what is behind this one. So one back. Uh, and I actually put this little piece of uh, facade here just to, you know, kind of, you know, hide them and uh, allow me to do that. So as you can see, if I kind of go like this, all of the rooms are exactly identical, uh, save for the various decorations and whatnot. However, there's no reason why you have to do that. Um, ideally, if you go into any hotel, what you're going to find is that on each floor, everything is almost identical. And that's done on purpose. But there is no reason why you can't blow out all these walls and make some sort of like mega super suite or something like that. But ideally, do you see how like all the toilets line up? When you're designing a hotel, you kind of want those features because in theory, the pipes for those toilets would be here. So all of the toilets could connect to one pipe. That is a really great way to kind of like, um, you know, uh, uh, cut down on costs, I guess would be the best way to describe it. And there are other features about hotels too. So let me kind of go back inside for just a second because we have one more thing to talk about. The word hotel uh, comes from uh, the Latin uh which through the French. So the word hostel, which uh, people might be familiar with, uh, hostels are kind of like mom and pop operations in Europe where people who are on like these backpacking adventures can go and spend the night for like 10 bucks, okay? You get basically a corner to sleep in. Um, they all come from the same root, okay, which is to host, all right? And basically, you are hosting someone. You're bringing people over to your establishment to host them. And back in the day, um, host actually comes from the Latin word hospitale, which is where we get hospitality from. 
And it's also where we get hospital from. Originally, hospitals were hotels. They were places where you could go when you needed to rest in order to heal yourself. And people would look after not only your uh, your, your sleeping arrangements, but they would also look after you know your what you were eating and you know like the medicine that you would take. So if you had like an upset stomach, they would give you ginger and that sort of stuff. This all goes back to Rome and before that ancient Greece. Um, but ideally, the reason why that's important, okay, is that hotels have developed a very specific way of being laid out. So, for instance, there is a hallway, not necessarily dead center, but in the middle, okay, of the building. It is not along the edges. And that's an important thing to keep in mind. If you move the, the hallway to the edges of the building, you then at that point are building a motel. Motel is actually uh, a word that is a conjunction of two other words. It's a motorist hotel. And the reason why the hallways are on the outside of motorist hotels is so that as you're driving by them, if you see people on the outside of the motel, that gives you a subliminal thought there that, oh, this must be a popular place, a place that people trust, a place that I might want to spend the night if I was tired of driving, okay? And this goes back to, you know, in the 1950s when people were in motels, that was like a huge thing. People would go out on the open road, drive around, and they would go to motels. Um, you know, and, and so being highly competitive, motels would, you know, be like, uh, you know, five, 10 thick on a stretch of highway. They had to try to outdo each other. So the idea was to get all your people outside and kind of hanging out by the pool, you know, that sort of stuff. So that as people drove by, they say, Hey, that's a happening place. I want to go there. In this case, hotels are the exact opposite. People want privacy when they're at hotels, especially if you have like diplomats or high rollers. If you, let's say you were doing like a Vegas hotel or something like that and you had high roller suites, you would want, even want like private elevators just so that people didn't have to, you know, deal with um, the public. You know, you could have rich and famous people come and not be harassed. So all that is kind of a consideration. Now, one thing before we go over here to kind of talk about how this building is built is I want to just kind of show you from here, if I jump up and down, I can actually see into the hotel room, okay? I did that on purpose for this express purpose. When you build a hotel, privacy is very important. You want to make sure that this room, okay? So we're going to go from, from ground level because I have a sidewalk here, but this is for the first block, second block, third block. You want to go up a fourth block okay this is actually too low we want to be up one more okay so that theoretically people can just go like that and see what was going on i'm going to talk about that now but for those of you who are just looking for a little bit of inspiration thanks for watching the video and uh, for the rest of you we're going over here so this is uh basically where i started and this is how you should start any hotel uh you want to start with a single floor plan okay one floor of your hotel now if you are in um creative mode one thing that you can do uh this is version 1.8.8 so you can actually use the fill okay uh command in order to actually take this this entire floor and replicate it over here again and again and again one above the other in order to build the building in under 10 minutes okay which is what I did, okay, because I'm in creative mode right now. Um, so what you want to do in order to accomplish that, okay, I would highly recommend building this two off the ground, okay? So this is only one off the ground. I would actually recommend building it a second one off the ground. And what you would do at that point is actually put two of these over here. And then when it's time to fill, all you do is, you t oh, I'm sorry, you type in a clone <clears throat> and you start off with where you are. Okay, and now remember um, that for the Y, if you have just a tilde here, that is whatever block is at your knees. Okay, so it's one down from wherever your eyes are. And that would be, in this case, because I didn't build this one up, it would be this blue piece of glass right here. Okay, is, the, is Y is just the clone. So if I wanted to make sure that I got everything, it would be negative one. All right, because it is one down from where my knees are. And I want to start like where I am. Now I know for a fact that this thing is uh, 35 by, and actually that'd be a negative 35 because I know that the X is in this direction. Um, and I'm going to go up three because it's zero, one, two, and then three would be the line above it. 
and then tilde 20 because it's 20 deep in this direction on the z-axis. And then, uh, so then at that point, now I want to say, all right, well, where do I want to send it? I know just having counted, okay, I went one, two, three, four, all the way across, that in my case, it was 40 back in the other direction, all right, uh, tilde and tilde. Because I wanted it to line up exactly where it is now, I just wanted to move it 40 over in that direction. After you lay the first one, and actually this would say mast, after you lay the first one, you're then immediately going to want to lay the second one, okay? So what you want to do there is if this number is 3, you want to add one to it, okay? And that would be the next level. So now each one is 4 high, and you want to add 4 each time. So when you do the next one, it'll be 8. When you do the next one, it'll be 12, all right? I'm sure that uh, kind of makes sense. If it doesn't, you can play it back. But basically, what you do is you literally lay out what you want each floor to do. And then once you get them in a stack like that, you can decide, okay, well, like for instance, on the first floor, I wiped out this room and turned it into the front desk and then uh, the little manager's office that was over here. I also wiped out this room and turned it into the little kitchenette area where you know I, I'm then feeding the people who are over here. But ideally, you want to design this as if it was like the fourth floor or the eighth floor and then blow things out as you want to customize it later. Um, things like glowstone and stuff like that will carry over, but you'll notice that I didn't bother actually putting any of the signs or accoutrements on any of the furniture pieces that I'm building, that I'm custom building. You do all that later uh, because they won't actually carry over. They'll, they'll just get um, ignored by the, uh, by the clone command. Also, so remember, the first thing that you want to do is lay down a floor, okay, so that you have your basic area. And then from there, you'll have to design it so that you'll notice like this step ends here and the one above it ends here. So that if this were cloned up here, it would make for a perfect stair, okay? Uh, so hopefully that kind of makes sense. And then again, you know, just uh, try and lay things out as best you can. The, the elevator is a little tricky. Um, you need to make sure, so in order to build the elevator, what you're going to do is you're going to have this cart will be up here when you get into the actual hotel. And then you're going to blow out this so that this drops down, okay? Um, that's how you, know, you actually build the elevators um, in Minecraft. This one is just literally sitting on top of a train track on top of another thing. So you don't have to worry about that. You just drop it in there. And then uh, the water will actually carry over, so you can set this up in advance. And then uh, I would just recommend blowing out the floor. And then for the bottom floor in the actual thing, just putting it back. And then you're ready to go. So I think that's it. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, you know, again, I'm hiding glowstone underneath the toilets and things like that. Uh, stuff that I've done in other videos. Uh, so feel free to check out my other videos if you're interested in, uh, you know, some other inspiration and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends, or subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I'll see you next time.